And we're back. Let's build a flow hood. Oh God. In with your filter is your big main back panel of the flow hood. Lay that down the ground or the bench. Then you've got your bottom part. So what I'll do is you line that up with one of your side pieces. So the side piece goes against the side and the bottom piece overlaps. Make sure you've got your smaller area facing up. So then that way, let's see, the back, the back is on the right side. So you will note, there is a lot of long screws. These are your main screws that go into all these big panels. The side piece and the bottom piece will be flush. So just obviously line them up and then put your one screw in. There's two screws for the side panel. Make sure your back panel's in flush hard against the corner. With your side panel, you'll note that there are four screw holes. I'll screw those in the back part first, making sure that your back panel is flush hard in the corner. I'll put one in top and bottom. And then I'll work my way out. When tightening them up, just make sure with your fingers that it's lined up and nice and flat. You're going to see from this side, screw holes to the back. So make sure it's flush with the edge. So get the top panel and just sit it on top. Once your top's on, make sure it's lined up. Put a hand in the side, fingers in the back. Remembering we're using the longer screws. So double check you're lined up nice and smooth onto the front. I'll put one either side. Double checking I'm lined up with the front nice and flat. all the rest of the screws in. You do have these white caps and they just clip inside all of the screw heads. Alright, now we're ready to put the filter in. Check on your filter what way the arrow is facing. So the arrow always faces the way of the wind, so to the outside of the box. Filter will just slide in there. You'll note it's overhanging a couple of mil. This is just so the window frame seals to it. When you do the window frames, just make sure you've got the nice glossy white side facing upwards. Again, with our longer screws, make sure it's flat on the bench. Don't tighten it 100% tight, we'll put them all in, then we'll tighten them up at the end. After we do the bottom one, we'll do the side ones. Make sure it's firm against the bottom and flush against the sides. Remember that, make sure it's lined up. Go fully tight yet? We just the top one. You should just be able to rest. So I just went around and 
make sure they're all tight and even. Just tie them to the point where they're just flush with the wood. Put a little white caps just to finish them off and make them look nice. It's looking quite nice. Now we're up to making our front work area. Make sure the single hole is to the back. We have two side pieces. Make sure the single hole is down to the bottom. We'll do one side at a time. And make sure you're lined up with the front so it's even. You have two holes on top and a screw down to the side piece. Make sure it's nice and flush with the edge. And we'll do the other side. Make sure it's forward enough that it's not sitting on the little white tabs we put on there. On our little white caps again. We do have three shorter screws and they are for this front work area. Should be one either side, one on the top. So you've just got to line up just back past the front caps on the top and screw them in. Making sure it's nice and flat. Again your little white caps. All right, we've got the front cover on. Make sure you're very careful working with your filter. You don't have to poke any holes in it. So all you have to do now is screw your fans on. Just make sure the foam's on the fan hole. Line it up evenly over your hole on the box and just screw it down. Then all you gotta do is plug it in, turn it on, and away you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.